Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Salman Masood and welcome back to my YouTube channel The Concept Academy by Idea Solution. In the previous video we have discussed about the installation of entity framework code. In this video we will learn to display the data on a page view page of asp.net code. Okay. First of all you have to follow this video tutorial you need to install entity framework core in your asp.net project okay as we have discussed this but uh, for a new viewer i will do the same thing in just one minute all you need to do just uh, go to the manage nuget package and install the entity framework .NET core as my .NET uh, core framework is 2.1 so i will install the version 2.1 okay uh, i uh, also had discussed in my previous video that uh, what uh, should you do with uh, your uh, compatible version you should use compatible version of dotnet core uh, all the dependencies should be compatible with your uh, this version target framework okay now i am using this so just come back to the nuget package Okay, it's refreshing it. Okay, now I am selecting from here and installing it. Okay, you can see it's installing right now. You have to wait. Okay, now you can see it is installed right now. So the next thing we have to install Microsoft.NET SQL dot tools. Okay. 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 Now I will install this Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot tool, and I will select the same version two point one point one and install it. Okay, our next step is to open SQL Server Management Studio and I have provided a script to create a table in my blog so you can get from the description link and uh, where is the okay let me find okay, I will provide in the link don't worry about that thing Here is the link and I will copy this thing to create my table and just copy it. Okay, many things are copied also. Just copy this script. Copy. Go to the skill server management studio. Select on the new query, create a new database, create database, okay, uh, name it test db and execute it. Now write the command use test db and paste. Okay, we have successfully created a table. Now we can check by writing the query select all from system dot tables Okay, as you can see there is one table that is TBL user. So first of all we will see what is present in that table TBL underscore user right now we do not have any data in the tbl user so we will add some data in the tbl user okay but uh, before that we will do what we will uh, come back to the visual studio 
and uh, open the package manager console okay and write this command that I have provided in the block that is cap fold db context and etc etc okay just paste over here that is a command to create your database if you have already existing a database then you must use a database first approach so basically this video is based on database first approach we have discussed in the previous video that uh, we do not have models edmx file uh, in asp.net core so we have to do that in different way that we are doing right now so we will do what uh, we will write this command scuffle dash db context and here is the connection string uh, server dot dot means the, my local database uh, that is SQL server and uh, I will do what change the database name what is the database name that is test db just copy it from here and come back to the visual studio and paste okay this is my username and write the password over here okay cd123 okay and enter it now you will see in the model folder the db context class and the model class will be created when it executed the command successfully okay now you can see in the model folder uh, two classes has been created the one is uh, entity that is tbl user all the fields are here as we saw in the sql server you can see and this is the connection class db context class okay and now what we need to do we will just go to the controller home controller is already added and uh, we will do what uh, right click on the index page add view okay and select list we are willing to show the list of all the users and we will select the model class so it will scuff fold and select db context class and add Okay, I forgot to build the solution before adding any view so just build the solution first before adding any uh, scaffold command okay now do the same thing again it's building right now add view and list dbl user test add okay after building the scuff folding completed successfully now I need to write the code on the controller just come back to the controller and make the connection string of the class first of all make a constructor c t o r okay the noises are my daughter is playing with her toy that's why you can listen in the background it is really hard to make the video right now when you have become a newly parent then please like this video badi mushkil se bana raha yaar Okay, uh, now we need to do what uh, just come back to this copy and paste it over here and write db okay is equals to and I will initialize this in constructor db is equals to new as db context later i will explain you because uh, in the future i will teach you a dependency injection so i am just making a good practice to uh, create the object in the constructor 
okay now i will do what uh, on the index page i will just say db dot tbl user dot to list okay now just run the project i have added one user to the table so it will show uh, only one user so just copy and paste add some more A, B, C, D, and Ali. Okay, and execute it. It's running on IAS server. Okay, now you can see we have successfully created an index page on which we are displaying data from SQL Server. Okay, the last thing I need to do is to configure my connection string in the uh, app setting app setting.json file. It is not secure to keep your uh, connection string over here. Uh, it's continuously showing me the warning. So I will do what I will copy this copy the connection string and go to the app setting dot json and place a comma and uh, the new attribute of connection string and uh, connect strings s capital connection strings colon okay the value and make a curly bracket name it db connection And paste your connection string here okay right now your connection string will be known by this name just go to the startup.cs file we haven't discussed in our video series we will discuss the middleware in our later coming session and there are two methods that is configure service and the configure method so we have to add a line of code uh, in configure service okay and paste it in the method configure service method paste this method service says dot add db context pool and here you will write your db context name in my case my database name was test db so i will write test db context okay it's continuously showing error because i haven't uh, i need a reference of model and here also press control dot okay now everything is fine and you need to change your connection name in my case my connection name is db connection so just paste over it okay now we have successfully configured our connection string just run the project and everything is fine okay that's all for this video thank you for watching have a nice day and please do subscribe to my channel like share and subscribe बहुत मुश्किल से वीडियो बनी है तो प्लीज़ इसको लाइक ज़रूर करना थैंक यू अल्लाह हाफिज़